Cowboy Bebop is a timeless classic that has been highly regarded in the realm that is the anime community for over two decades. The series drop kicked the door of acceptance of Japanese animation in the West with its run on Toonami, and though time has passed and plenty of other anime came and went since, this one still gets talked about 21 years later. In some circles, Cowboy Bebop is the greatest anime of all time. Five years ago when I fell down the classic rabbit hole, Bebop was one of the first series I had seen. Coming from the world of only wanting to watch back-to-back -back mediocre children shonen, battle anime, this show among others served as a coming-of-age story for me, expanding my perspective of what anime was and could be. But how exactly does it hold up for me five years later? Let's find out. Bebop aired in 1998 and was written by Hajime Yatate. The show was directed by Shinchiro Watanabe of Studio Sunrise and this marks my personal issue with this show and the main point I want to hammer home with this video. Not a direct issue with Watanabe per se, but you'll see. Before I get into it, I'll break down now why you need to watch the show if you haven't seen it and then I'll break down why you may not get much out of it a second time if you have already watched it. And just a disclaimer, to the guy who's getting ready to tell me how he's seen the show 20 times and it never gets older and only gets better, stop typing. To each is his own. First and foremost, the biggest appeal I believe the show has going for itself is a combination of its setting, animation, characters, character interaction, and the maturity of its content. Cowboy Bebop is a space opera, so the characters bounce around through a fictional depiction of a post-apocalyptic Earth and other fantasies of life on other planets like Mars and Venus. The characters and their dynamic as an entire cast blend well together because everyone comes from their own walks of life and have reasons as to why they are on the Bebop and what their purpose is. A big thing that is rewarding when you realize it while watching this is that there are certain very very low-key connections these characters' personalities and morals make. One of them being Faye's inability to want to get close to anybody from obvious abandonment issues and Spike not caring to get close to her anyway. Now this sounds like very toxic traits in these guys personalities but it always works for them to team up and come together in harmony. Diving deeper into animation, the show sits in an era we know as the last of its kind, hand drawn sketches. This came literally right before the digital revolution and Sunrise was sure to push the boundaries to the best of their abilities, not unlike the Ghibli film that came out the same year. The show actually has movie OVA level production for most episodes. All in all, if you haven't seen Cowboy Bebop yet, without question, those are some of the reasons why you should. Not to mention some interesting and iconic moments happen in this series. But now, I gotta tell you why I personally am not a super fan of Bebop the way I was when I first saw it. For those who don't know, Watanabe years later would be responsible for directing Samurai Champloo, which for a lot of you, it might have just set off bells in your head if you've seen both series. One show is a space opera jazz, the other a Samurai Edo hip hop. Very similar approaches were taken with both series in creating a dichotomy between the setting, theme, and music. Now, Cowboy Bebop shares the same problems for me that I saw with Samurai Champloo, and I'm already not a big Samurai Champloo fan, that's why I never have and never probably will ever talk about it. Now, while these shows have the recipe to be legendary to me, they both ended up letting me down after such a promising opening episode. As a matter of fact, I plan on doing a top 10 first episode list and both these series first episodes would make it. Jin and Mugen, that fight was incredible and the action scenes in the Bebop ending of the first episode I've seen over a dozen times and it never gets old. But as the series go on I just find everything falls apart for me and since these shows are episodic there was never really a story for me to latch onto from the beginning so it only accelerated the issue. Side note, the show's events do tie in and make the journey worth it once you get into the last episode, but still. Majority of the stories of each episode, they just didn't hold my attention and this time around, it just didn't do it for me and uh, around the middle of the series, I just totally became uninterested. Honestly, on this channel, I try not to babble on about things you don't really care to hear about, so I'll just be blunt. The show was very boring to me. I know this might ruffle a lot of feathers, but I'm sure this might be the reassurance that a lot of people need that love Bebop, but they feel the same way that I do. 
I do still highly regard this show and recommend anyone who calls themselves an anime fan to experience it at least one time. But I look at more than just story to rate my shows. It's still a classic by my standards. But I really was looking to get sucked into each episode and it just didn't happen. So my biggest opinion on Cowboy Bebop is that it only has shock value for the first time around. And like I said earlier, stop typing if you've seen this 20 times and it never gets old. To each is his own. It's subjective. I will say, some of the episodes I did have a good time watching were the first two episodes, the last two episodes, episode 5, and a couple others. Listen, that's it for this episode. Let me know if you feel the same way or why you disagree. Like the video, comment down below what y'all want to see next. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Anime back when.